Okay, my name is Mark Bradley. I'm your fitness guru, and I'm here to help you out. Welcome. So, I'm glad you guys are back. You must really love working out. Listen, today I got a leg workout for you. It's going to work on, we're working on dumbbell squats, box jumps, dumbbell lunges, and weighted burpees. Now the way this workout's gonna work, we're gonna take each exercise for 30 seconds with a 15 second rest, and we're gonna do that for three rounds. We get a one minute break between each round, and then during that time, I really want you to focus on something here today. The word of the day is strength. And that strength relates to fitness is the neuromuscular ability of uh, uh, the body to create an internal force to tackle an exterior load. Now what's that mean as it relates to your life? What is the exterior that's keeping you from doing what you're doing? Man, you got the power the inside. You got the strength inside to overcome anything that stands in your way. So that's what I want you to think of when this workout is getting tough. All right, listen, enough of the talking. It's time to get ready to work. Hi, I'm Tim Marshall. Welcome to R&B Showcase Live. You know, everybody's in the health and fitness today. We got a very special show with a special guest. He is the founder and the director of Movement Matters at Brett DeNovi and Associates. And we're going to welcome fitness director and coach Mark Bradley to the show. Oh, thank you for having me today. How you doing, man? Pretty good. How's everything going? Oh, fantastic. All right. fantastic. Oh, I appreciate you taking the time to come out. And, uh, you know, everybody's into this health and fitness thing today. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I absolutely. went to see my doctor. My doctor told me I need to lose 10 pounds. He said, that's your homework. Lose 10 pounds. <laughs> okay. I went back to see him again. I gained 10 pounds. I was up 20. He said, you know what? You failed the test. You should have called me. So, you should have called me. I know I should have called you, man. But you know what? Let me tell you something. I'm having trouble doing this. And when I mean this, I mean <laughs> pushing away the food, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. is there anything that you can tell me about um, regards to trying to take off weight? I mean, how much of that is diet? Yeah. And yeah. how much of that is exercise? You know, um, that's a lot of people, um, I think, ask that question. You know, uh, you get excited about wanting to go to the gym and you want to go push weights around. And I think sometimes when, when you do that, right, it's like uh, I earned that. Uh, donut, right? But ultimately, <clears throat> when we want to talk about weight loss, right, specifically, um, it's how many calories you're putting in versus how many calories you're putting out, mm -hmm. right? So uh, whether you ate 10 donuts or 100 apples, right? If you took in 2,000 calories and you only um, burnt off 1,500 calories that day, your weight's going up, mm -hmm. all right? So um, I would say when it comes to losing weight, we definitely want to manage how much we eat. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, a strategy that I like to do is I like to eat four to five times a day. Um, wow. Yeah, okay. yeah. So I'm um, eating small meals, mm -hmm. right? So they're not big meals, but what happens is I love to eat. So I understand when um, you have this crave, you just want to eat food, right? Mm -hmm. But if I just eat something, don't have to be big, a small portion that satisfy my need to eat constantly, mm -hmm. right? Um, but then also controlling the amount of calories that mm -hmm. I'm taking in. Now, is there certain foods we should definitely not like, stay away from? They always say, don't have ice cream, don't have this, don't, you know, you can't drink this, you can't have that. I mean, do you have a certain diet or do you just eat regular? Um, I do like to eat clean, but at the same time, I think you got to treat yourself, right? Mm -hmm. You know, so, uh, for example, if, if my wife comes home, right, and, and she's excited about something and she wants to have some dessert, or, mm -hmm. or, or better yet, the other night we had a family game night and desserts. Um, at that time, you go ahead and eat the dessert, right? You live a little bit. Uh, I think that's important. This way is not like you're, you're not resenting yourself for eat, eating healthy, right? Mm -hmm. It's a part of your, your, uh, uh, your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But then you also enjoy a little bit too. Mm -hmm. um, but now for 90, 80% of the time, I say you eat uh, meats, fruits, nuts, seeds, a little dairy, mm -hmm. um, no sugar if you can. Okay. Um, stay away from processed foods, things in the box. Mm -hmm. uh, if you no eat, lunch meat, I guess, huh? Lunch meat isn't that good. You, you know, I, I, I do like a turkey sandwich here yeah, and there. I do but, too. but it's uh, not good to you. No, 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 mm -hmm. no. It's, it's, it's not definitely mm -hmm. the uh, healthiest form of meat for, you should be consuming when you want to go higher quality, right? So. How about caffeine products like coffee or? Oh, yeah. You know? um, Listen, I can't yeah. live without coffee. Me man. neither. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta have my coffee. Yeah, yeah, know? yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, um, I at least have two 24 coffee. ounces a day, minimum. Uh, that's a lot of coffee. I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Um, but you know what? You can cut back on the coffee a little bit and eat some okay. blueberries. Blueberries are good for energy. Okay. All right. You feeling a little mm -hmm. sluggish? All right. right. Uh, you know, take a half a cup of blueberries mm -hmm. in the morning. All right. You'll wake you right on up.
Hello, so I'm Coach Bradley, and uh, today I'm going to show you my uh, after workout smoothie. Right? I love bananas. All right, so we're going to do a banana, chocolate, peanut butter uh, smoothie. Okay, so we're going to use uh, two bananas, right? And we're going to cut these bad boys up first. Uh, so we want to cut the bananas into chunks. I'm no chef, so please don't criticize me too much here with my chopping skills. All right, so we got some of our bananas here. We'll do that. There we go. Nice, nice with bananas. All right, we're gonna use two cups of milk. All right, uh, you can either use a measure or, uh, you know, go by what you think, whatever works for you. Uh, I'm gonna use a measuring cup today. All right, so. We got our cup of milk here, two cups of milk. All right. Nice. All right, so we'll drop that in there. So we're gonna take these, we're gonna dump these right on in the blender. There you go. This is a perfect recovery drink. And uh, if you're anything like me, when I get done working out, um, I can't eat a big meal. All right, so the best thing for me to do is to uh, make a smoothie. All right, so now we're gonna put in our peanut butter. All right, so we got our milk, we got our banana, and the recipe calls for about a half a cup of peanut butter. All right, so we got a little measuring cup here. You know, I'll try to drop that in to see where we're at. Uh, make sure we're pretty good there. Wow, all right, it's about a half a cup of peanut butter. All right, so we got that. Drop that right on in there. It gives it a nice, nice protein, potassium for the muscles, all right? Now we got also a little honey, all right? Uh, makes it nice and sweet, adds to the flavor. And it adds for about two tablespoons of, uh, of honey. So we get two tablespoons of honey. Drop that right on in there. Now, I like chocolate syrup, all right? So this wasn't actually in the recipe itself, but uh, I'm gonna throw it in there just to give a little sweetness for myself. So, maybe give about five count, right? One, two, three, maybe about three count, right? You kinda eyeball that, depending on how much chocolate you like. All right, and I'm also gonna add in some vanilla Greek yogurt, all right? That'll give us a little bit more protein. All right, so let's try that here. So we'll open this bad boy up. And I'm gonna pretty much knock the whole thing in here. Now, me personally, I like Greek yogurt. It's a little more high in protein. All right. And let's see how we look in here. Let's put that bad boy up. To me, that's nice. Uh, it's thick enough. And Oh my God, it's delicious. All right, so here you go. All right, if you need something after workout, all right, um, a nice banana smoothie is perfect. Remember we had uh, milk, peanut butter, honey, Greek yogurt, and of course the main ingredients is your banana. So after your workout, try the smoothie out and uh, tell me how you like it. Awesome, peace.
get guap, make dough, stack cheese But I could tell that the police watch me I'm just trying to flex Yeah, yeah, this comes working right here Jersey, one time we in the building We watch an R&B showcase live with Tim Hart uh, that's it, man. Let's, let's get ready. That's where the fun begins. Hope y'all got your dumbbells ready. Listen, this workout starting in about 10 seconds from now. When we do these dumbbells, we're gonna hold them up here, just like this for these dumbbell squats. Right, let's get ready. things to do we don't always have a, a whole lot of time um, I do try to get in the gym three times a week but it's not always feasible with my schedule you know yeah. doing different things and working and all that kind of thing so um, is there things that we can do um, for those that are on the go is there a certain fitness uh, regimen that you would recommend yeah well you know there's a it's a method that I love a lot um, it's called the Tabata method mm -hmm. um, and it's a quick interval workout it's okay. 20 seconds of high intensity work Mm -hmm. followed by a 10 second rest mm -hmm. and you do that for about eight intervals so it's about four minutes long mm -hmm. um but in that 20 seconds man you're working right so if you're doing jumping jacks you're doing as many jumping jacks as you can mm -hmm. in that 20 second and then rest um that's a quick way to uh you know get the habit developed get it going mm -hmm. you know and i think a lot of times uh, people want to go to the gym and they're thinking about it but i think finding time to do it mm -hmm. is, is tough um, so I say, as soon as you think about it, do something, mm -hmm. right? Um, and at that moment, if you say, hey, you know what? I really should be going to the gym. If you got five minutes of free time, mm -hmm. use that to battle method, right? Mm -hmm. And you can mix it in with just jumping jacks, right? Just to kind of get you Is moving. there a recommended amount of time to go to the gym? Like how many days a week you should go? And then how many days on, how many days off as far as the workout that you do? I think there's, um, there's so many different splits, uh, training splits that's, um, like working a single body part every day mm -hmm. or uh, doing full body workouts. Honestly, they all work and it really depends on uh, the athlete and your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes people are really busy and they don't have time to sit in the gym for 45 minutes or an hour and a half, right? Okay. So they need to get in there and do something quick. Mm -hmm. um, and if you do something like that, I would say more high intensity interval work. Mm -hmm. We're working for like that Tabata method, that 20, 30 seconds, hit some work, rest, keep your rest short. Um, and they kind of mix in compound exercises. Mm -hmm. That's compound exercises are things like uh, squats, okay. shoulder press, mm -hmm. um, deadlifts. Mm -hmm. um, those movements, uh, you know, mimic everyday uh, activity. Is there certain stuff like some people have, like you said, some people have the chest day, the yeah, arm yeah, yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, Is there yeah. certain combinations of muscles that you should do on certain days? Again, you know, there's. The uniqueness about weight training there is just so many ways to weight train. Mm -hmm. um, and it really depends on your goal. So if uh, you're in the bodybuilding, right? Mm -hmm. More a bodybuilder's program is more of a uh, chest on Monday, maybe chest and buys, chest and tries, shoulders, legs. Um, for an athlete, you want to do more compound explosive movements, mm -hmm. right? Um, so you'll do maybe a combination. So say you may have a strength segment of your workout uh, where you're focusing on compound lifts like a bench press mm -hmm. or deadlift. Uh, this way you get in your strength, but then you also work in a conditioning segment all right, okay. where you do something um, like we said earlier, like a high intensity, uh, low rest period. And this way you kind of get in a combination of both mm -hmm. in your workout. Okay. All right. So uh, again, it depends on, depends on the person. Some people love mm -hmm. to dance, right? You, mm -hmm. you know, uh, um, I never really done Zumba too much myself, right. but you know what? Hey, that's good for strengthening your bones. Well, you can work right? up a lot of yeah, energy at the club yeah, too, yeah, you know? Yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> so, right, go in there, go dance a little bit. How about right? that? So, whatever how about works that? for you. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about um, Movement Matters. This is the company that you founded, and yeah. you're working with the youth with this company? Is that what yeah, it's about? Yeah, yeah, man. Tell us about it. Um, well, you know, Movement Matters is something I'm, like, really, really passionate about. Mm -hmm. I've um, always been in the fitness industry. Um, well, not always in the industry. Well, I, I guess you can say that in the sense that my mom said I was doing push-ups since I came out of the womb, right? Okay. You, you know, <laughs> um, so it's always just kind of been in my, in, in my mm -hmm. DNA. Um, and then for a short, brief period of time, I went over to work at an organization that worked with kids with special needs. Okay. Um, you know, I was managing, I came from managing a gym at that time, and uh, right. there were just certain benefits that I needed that you didn't really get as an independent trainer okay. um, or managing a gym, so I, I switched over. And uh, I was really excited about that, because when I, when I started working with these 
uh, children. Mm -hmm. uh, I learned so much from them, mm -hmm. right? Uh, just from um, just having good energy, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it was just really amazing. And I realized like, hey, uh, these kids don't have anywhere to really exercise mm -hmm. or, or, or to go work out. You know, there wasn't a lot of fitness trainers skilled in the area of providing them with physical activities or, or training. Um, and I started to develop both of those skill sets of just working with the population mm -hmm. um, and then having a history of uh, being a personal trainer during gym management. Mm -hmm. um, so I was working in a day program, right? I was mm -hmm. working with uh, maybe about 18 to 20 guys in this day program. And I was like the only male in the program. Okay. And, um, you know, some of our kids had some pretty extreme behaviors, mm -hmm. right? Um, so immediately I knew, like, all right, we got to get them burning some energy, right? So um, I had one guy who uh, would love to just catch the football, go run, and all his behavior started to go away, right? Wow. During the day program, he wasn't having self-injurious behaviors. Mm -hmm. um, he wasn't, um, you know, having behaviors against any of the other um, uh, children in the program, right? Okay. Um, and it was all because, you know, he found excitement in the training, right? Mm -hmm. And um, the owner of the company, uh, with the VP of the company, reached out to me and said, hey, you know, I noticed that I'm not going to use his name, say John Doe, right? right? Mm -hmm. John isn't having any behaviors. What's going on up there? And um, I told him what we're doing. We're working out. And uh, next thing you know, make a long story short, next thing you know, I'm doing fitness programs in this whole entire company. Mm -hmm. um, you know, then I met Brett Denovi, Okay. Um, maybe a few years after that. And we uh, started the program over at his company as mm -hmm. well. Um, and now we're in about six different counties. We have uh, fitness classes. Uh, we have yoga classes, we have um, trail workouts, we have a partnership with the Special Olympics. Um, maybe we have a good amount of our, our, our learners mm -hmm. as, uh, now kind of involved in the program. Okay. Yeah, exercising, yeah. <laughs> strong here baby we winners we gold crushers that's what we do every day man it's grinding but it's a fun grind now, what inspired you to, to, to want to be a fitness trainer and many of you know that you had this gift to be able to do this especially working with our youth um you know it just kind of it's something that you know, it's funny that I never wanted to do it as a profession because I loved it so much, mm -hmm. right? I, I didn't want to um, not like it, like being forced to go make sales and things like that. Um, but it was, it was called to me, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I felt like it became my tool to use to help uh, you know, our children and people uh, make more healthy decisions and just find ways to better themselves. Okay. Um, I know when I work with uh, some of my children, if you're working out, let's say, um, three times a week and say the workout's pretty difficult, um, you're subconsciously, you're programming yourself that you can, you can tackle any goal that you put in front of you, mm -hmm. right? So you're kind of getting a lot out of uh, strength training, um, you know, uh, besides just, you know, getting, getting your body in shape. Okay. All right. It's a mental thing too. Talking about getting your body in shape, what yeah. kind of exercises um, can we do? You have anything you want to show yeah. us? Yeah, yeah. So let's do this. Um, 
One thing that's really important is getting families uh, mm -hmm. encouraged to work out something like that too. So okay. we do have my son here. Oh, okay. Uh, my son's on the show, Demarcus, and, um, and what we'll do is we'll demonstrate a uh, like a partner workout that you can do with your um, family. Okay. At so, home. So why don't we take the time and welcome this young man to the stage? All right, let's do it. All right. How All you right. doing? I'm doing good. Come on, come on in here. There you go. How you doing, Marcus or Demarcus? Uh, Demarcus. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How you doing? What grade you in? Uh, I'm going into sixth grade. Okay. There All right. Very All good. right. So. Well, let's... thanks for coming here and joining us here today. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. So you've been working with your father. Uh, yep. In his company, his organization. Yes. All right. There you go. Awesome. So I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what you guys are going to present for us today. All right. Cool. So uh, I'll show us first, right? So mm -hmm. we're doing our burpee press. Okay. All right. So, so pretty much we're coming down to push up position, right. come to your feet and we'll press the dumbbells over our head. All mm -hmm. right. So what we're going to do is I'll do one and then DeMarcus will do one and then we'll go up to 10. Okay. All right. So, uh, you want to start us off? Yeah. All right, let's do it. And one, there we go. Awesome. Two. you recommend doing with it, like works with families and things like that? Yeah, yeah, well, you know. It's like um, a partner exercise, basically? Yeah, so okay. it's just a way of, um, you know, encouraging uh, me and my son to kind of work out together. So this mm -hmm. way, uh, you're not just going to the gym and leave your kids at home. Uh, mm -hmm. You can easily have a set of dumbbells right there in the living room, and uh, you can find ways to kind of just work out together, kind of mm -hmm. make it fun. Make it family fair. Make it family fun. That's what it's all about. Yeah, That's man. Good. There you That's go. Good. All right. So, well, awesome. well, thank you, young man. Yeah. Anything else you want to show us? Uh, you good? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much, young man. Demarcus, right? Uh, yeah. All right. Thanks for being part of the show here today. Uh, thank you for going to be here. All right. All right. All right. So, okay, man. So, uh, um, that sounds good. You know what? Let's do this thing. Yeah. I'm going to put you through the test now. Okay. You, like right. you say you like to do push-ups. I love push-ups, You man. were born doing yeah, push-ups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got energy left today? <laughs> I got some energy. Here we go. We uh, we're going we're to do what we call a push-up challenge here today. Now, okay. we're going to take these cards here. Okay. Now, whatever card, whatever card you draw, that's how many push-ups you got to do. Okay. All right. All right. You want to go first? or Want me to go first? Uh, yeah, I'll go. I'll okay. go. Okay. All right. It. Pick All a card. Right. If, you, if you choose, a, if you choose an ace, that could be one can, or eleven. I can put that back in the deck if I get an ace now. All right. <laughs> there we go. You got? Ten. Ten. Ah. There okay. All right. Go ahead. All right. Ten push-ups. Give me ten. All right. Let's do it. Here we go. Try to do one arm now. <laughs> Two. Yeah. Three. Four, five, six. Just hold on. That's right. Hold on. Showcase Live.
He is in your son, formerly sick of hell, Beverly Williams. You're watching Tim Marshall on the R&B Showcase. Let's do it tonight. 